Hello, snowball artist. Today we are going to make our snowman or snow lady or snow person. You get to decide. So what you're going to need today is your piece of paper that says snowballs collage. You're gonna need the gray piece of paper from your art bag and you're gonna need your scissors and your glue. Pause right here, gather your supplies, and then let's get started. I'm going to set everything off to the side except for my piece of paper. Let's remember how to hold our scissors. In the small hole, we put our thumb, and that goes on the top. In the oval jelly bean shape, we put our fingers, however many are comfortable. I have to use my grown-up scissors because the little ones are just a little too tiny for my hands. Then we look at our paper and find the spot closest to the edge of the paper to start. I'm gonna start right here. I hold my paper with my other hand, aim my scissors forward, and I begin cutting and keeping my scissors forward, I use my other hand to turn the paper. If I feel like my hand is too far away, I hold my paper closer and keep on trucking. Do you see how I'm trying to stay on the black line? I feel like that's important because that will help my shape turn out the best. All right, I finished cutting. Would you like to pause the video right here and finish cutting and then you can unpause and catch up for the next step? Here's the next step. Put the gray piece of paper in front of you. Then your snow person's going to go on top. Do you like the black line showing? If you do, then that's how you can glue your person on. If you don't, and you would like it to just be white, then you can think about putting it on like that. I don't mind the black line. I think it's kind of nice. So I'll flip it over because that's the side I want to put my glue on. When you find your glue, remember you're only turning the very top part. You turn it so that the orange part rises above the white and squeeze it so you can hear the air. If you can hear that, you know that your glue is going to work, but if you can't, close it. Pick the extra off the top, get a bunch of glue on your fingers, then open it up again. There we go. When I put my glue on, I stay about an inch away from the edge. And I put it on right around, outlining the shape of my object. If I feel like the inside needs a little bit of love, I might put another amount in there. Not too much though. Don't be fooled. Too much glue does not mean it glues better. It just means it takes longer to dry. Okay. My picture's sideways, but I think you can see it better. So I'm going to glue this right into the middle of my gray piece of paper. And then just rub it down, just like that. If you ever had something kind of smushy or blurry on the front of your picture and you were afraid of rubbing the front, you can always flip it over and then you rub the back of it. You could do this for this project too. Why don't you try it? It's a good thing to learn how to do. And there you go. Now that you have your snow person glued onto your paper, you gotta think about how you're going to decorate them. You should collect a bunch of things called found objects. What is a found object? Well, get ready. What? Look at that. There's so many found objects. Why do I have so many? Because you just never know what you are going to use and what you're not. I found some ribbon. I found some of these fake flowers. I found, I found, I found, I found. And then I'm gonna try to arrange all these fun things using my creativity and imagination onto my snowball snow person and decide what I'm going to do. 
That's the best part. So start thinking about the face. The face is the first thing. After you've figured out what you want to do for the face, then you can assemble the face and then stop. We'll talk about how to do the rest later. All right. Thank you so much for watching, paying attention. I hope you had fun and I'll see you next time.